Imagine there was a great king who loved his bride more than anything. And he's going to go on a long journey. And before he goes on that journey, he calls us, he calls, he calls you, he calls one man, and he says, you will be the steward and you will take care of my bride. Now she's most precious to me. Here are the decrees by which you will care for her. This is what you shall do and shall not do with her. You must fulfill everything. Your faithfulness will be rewarded. Your unfaithfulness, your unconcern for these decrees regarding my bride will be punished. And so the king goes on a long journey and he's gone for a long time. And the steward begins to notice that the people are losing interest in the king and they're losing interest in his bride, the queen, because she's somewhat pale and, and, and plain and, and old fashioned for them. So he decides that in order to save the kingdom, he is going to remake the bride. And, and in doing that, he's going to change her simple but elegant uh, white robe into something uh, a, a bit more eye catching and flashy. He's going to paint her face and change her hair and then parade her in front of carnal men in order to attract them somehow back into the kingdom. When that king returns, what is he going to do to that steward? I'm sure he'll take his life. He'll judge him most severely. He'll look at him and say, who do you think that you are, that you would do this to my bride, especially in light of the specific commands that I gave you? And we can see the same thing today. We see so many men that are trying to transform, redress, repackage the bride of Christ so that worldly men might somehow be attracted to the king. I think those men should be extremely afraid. When Uzzah reaches out to touch the ark, I mean, his heart, so to speak, is in the right place. He loves the ark. He doesn't want the ark to touch the ground. And he reaches out and he touches it in a forbidden manner. And God essentially says to us, through killing Uzzah, this is not about what you want or what you feel. This is about what I say. And that matters.